In this video today, I'll speak about two terms uh, called addenda or addendum and bulletin. If you are working in the in construction industry, you will hear these two terms too much. So what is the difference between the two terms? Usually, whenever there is a new project, the, the bidders will be given uh, construction uh, documents for bid. Uh, these construction documents mainly consist of the following like BOQ, uh, bill of quantity, IFT issued for tendering drawings, specifications, uh, question and answer, minutes of meeting to start his bid. So, so what is addenda then? Where it's apply here? Well, first of all, before before I speak where it's apply, let me uh, define it first. Well, addendum is used to issue revisions to construction documents after bid documents are given to a bidding company, but bid awards revision issued via addendum have no cost impact. So what does this mean? Let me show you an example, uh, like a timeline. Let me say it like a timeline. Okay, here is we have a project name XY, located anywhere, city, job number, date, such and such. So here, at this stage, a CD given to the bidder. As we said, it has a specification, bill of quantity, IFT drawing, and so on. So it's given on January 1st, 2016. And he has to submit his tender or bid pricing on March 11. So any modification or any changes in the uh, specification or the drawings between the, uh, the date given, the bid uh, documents, and the bid awards, it's called addendum. But usually there is a cut off date. It's about one week or 10 days, some, something like this. So we cannot issue the contractor any revision. So otherwise he will be confused. So any addendum is given between those two periods, any changes, sorry, any changes given between those, those two periods, it's called addendum whether it is specification changes or drawing changes, so it's called addendum. It may be one or two addendum, three addendum, uh, as much as they want. Okay, in this period, if the, uh, if the customer or the contractor, let me say if the contractor, he submitted a claim, he, is un he has no right to submit any claim. So, no claim based on addendum. Otherwise, he should have considered price changing during estimation or bid price. So this is addendum. So what is bullet bulletin? Bulletin is the changes also in either in the specification or the drawing, but it is after the bid awards, after signing the contract with the contractor and everything. So any changes, we call it bulletin. So maybe it's bulletin one, two, three, four, whatever. I've worked in a project, we had eight bulletins one time. So at this, at this bulletin, in this bulletin, the uh, contractor, the contractor is liable for any cost impact or uh, changes or, and they qualify for change order, which we call it variation order. But the, the contractor, before he proceed in this work, in the changes, he should submit a new pricing to the client and he should get it approved. After getting approved of the price, then he can proceed in the variation order. This is to protect his benefits. Now I will show you examples of certain uh, addendum in certain specification of projects we are working on. Uh, this is for educational purpose. This is Aldara Hospital. Uh, we are not going to show the specification, only the content, only the table of content. I will show you. 
Here section 03, there is addendum 04. Section 03 also, there is addendum. So addendum 7, addendum 1, section 4, and so on. So they are uh, it's shown clearly. So there is a change has occurred here between uh, the handing over of the documents of the bidding documents and the bidding uh, and the bidding award. So these are addendums. Another example for uh, addendums. Uh, another project we are working on. I have seen a revision history. Uh, division 1 added as per her request kitchen special equipment in section 11 has been added and so on uh, and here is the first issue dated 12-4-2012 and as you see 12-06-2012 there was some amendment also uh, but they haven't said if it's a uh, addendum or bulletin and they have included all the sections which have been changed and it happened I have opened section 14 actually section 14 it's uh, division 14 about equipment electrical traction elevators commercial elevators so I want to the specification so let me show you here page uh, here is the uh, project name and everything and this is for educational purpose only so here you can see TBC TBC to be clear or to be checked so there is here changes okay uh, another changes occurred also uh, I'll show you page 24 also here so there is changes occurred uh, they have added uh, they have changed Close B, close C, and so on. Uh, this is this is example about let me say addendum. How about bulletin? Uh, I have showed you this bulletin. Bulletin. This is for a project King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. This uh, specification. It's the property of Aramco. I'm using it for uh, only educational purpose. We will check the table of content. Uh, if you can notice, this is bulletin 4. Bulletin 4. Okay. Bulletin 004. So there was a previous bulletin before. Here is bulletin 3. Bulletin 1. Bulletin 4 here. It's clear. There is a changes. And, uh, and we've been asked to work on bulletin 4 only. So they told us to neglect the bulletin one, two, and uh, three. Uh, and this project, we had a bulletin up to eight. So, and we've been told to work up to bulletin four. Okay. So this is about uh, bulletins and addendums. But there are things the project manage management, they have to do to protect their interest. Uh, first of all, there is one list, uh, the project management they should prepare. Uh, usually it's prepared by a planning engineer if it's a mega project. Usually there is a planning engineer. Uh, he should prepare something like this called distribution list. In this distribution list, uh, I have uh, here is, we have the project name, where it's located, job order number and date and so on. So here to ensure that this addendum and bulletin has been distributed to the subcontractors so he has to make a distribution list like here uh, we have a firefighting subcontractor okay and he is uh, his address is city x let's say so uh, bid set issued on january 0116 so he was given division 21 hard and uh, soft copy from the specification and relevant drawings and there was addendum one uh, in January 12 16 uh, he was given a revised sheets of division 21 IFC and narrative of addendum one and so on bulletin also he was given on Gen June 25 25th revised sheet of division 21 and narrative of bulletin one 
also machinery and concrete subcontractor also the same story he was given uh, the bid set from division three and four hard and soft copy uh, it will include specification and drawings and so on and there was an addendum regarding this division and he was given the uh, revised sheets uh, on February 5th this is an example and every uh, project management uh, means project manager or project director they should make a, cer a certain distribution list and to show to show who has taken these addendums and bulletins so uh, let me say here distribution list helps you to keep track who has got what from you and this is extremely valuable when distribute arises in a pro in a project and this is usual uh, disputes, disputes always arises in a project whether you like it or not this has happened in the same token also we have uh, uh, control sheet and a control sheet uh, it's similar to something like this here we list here we list all the uh, plans or the drawings uh, and I have included some examples only uh, and it shows uh, this section architect the title sheet is what uh, bid set date given on this date a was given on this date and so on and here there in this drawing there was no changes and I have included specific uh, special uh, only a few sheets but if you are working in a project you have to include all the sheet for all divisions okay and so on so list all the drawing received and I gave only examples so uh, what else we should we should know about addendum and bulletin also a typical addendum or bulletin shall include the following so whenever a bulletin or addendum is sent to you so you shall receive a transmitter let letter listing all items sent with the addendum or bulletin uh, revised drawing sheet not the ent entire drawing set uh, revised specification sheet maybe only one division or maybe subsection from a division uh, unless there was a major unless there was a major changes on the bulletin uh, on the specification so they will give you the, ho the whole spec as it happened with us uh, a sheet by sheet narrative of the changes so they should tell you what ha what the changes occurred where it occurred and there will be some marks it says where it's the changes occurred uh, an updated document control sheet which I showed before so this is about uh, it regarding uh, addendum and uh, bulletin I hope uh, I gave you uh, some information to know what is the difference between the two and uh, if you like this video please subscribe and press like thank you very much bye bye